All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Sypho. As far as I can tell, it's kind of a weird midpoint between the uh, Cell Stage of Spore and Nimbatus. That's actually pretty cool to me. Let's just get going. So your breed, creatures, okay, Advina, creatures not out of this world, designed to adapt and kill. Movement zo zooids go in any movement direction, but lack top speed. Uses spikes and poison to deal with foes. Unknown, unknown, unknown Advina. Okay, so we pretty much only have this one. Let's see how this goes. Okay, WASD. Oh, I can use this. Let's not. Let's, let's use keyboard mouse for this one. WASD with the mouse. You can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. E to change movement type. Oh, whoa. Tank controls? <laughs> Let's do twin stick absolute. That might be the easiest here. So it's food, use it to grow, it heals, so pretty spore. Uh, the current nutrition is represented by the orb in the bottom left corner. All right, click orb, growth orb, or spacebar to enter growth mode. Combat zooids to destroy this. Okay, growth mode, where you design your host. Welcome to growth mode. Growth mode, you spend nutrition points to grow new parts called zooids. Zooid has a unique function. Structure zooids are used to define the shape of your sypho. Zooids can also be grown next to structure zooids. They can also slightly increase your nutrition capacity. Grow a structure zooid to continue. Uh, how? Okay, structure. Xenoplate. Strong structure zooid connects to other zooids and is able to sustain a bit more damage. Okay. Ungrowing. For when you change your mind, you can ungrow zooids by right-clicking them. This returns the nutrition cost of the zooid. You can also reposition grown zooids by clicking and dragging them. Cool. Other types of zooids. Movement zooids help you move. Utility zooids help provide skills in combat. Uh, and combat zooids allow you to kill other competing sypho sifo or structures. Roll weapon to continue. So we have movement. Alright, whatever. There we go. You can see your energy and available skills in the lower right corner. You constantly generate energy over time. All skills use some energy when activated. The letter next to the skill represents the key that activates it. You can view more information on each skill by hovering your cursor above the skill. You can activate skills when you're not in growth mode. Activate a skill to continue. Okay, you can reposition skills inside the skill bar. In growth mode, you can also rebind them to new key keys by left-clicking on them in growth mode. Several skills may be activated with the same key. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I've got that. Come here. Come here, I want to poke you. Oh, right. Absolute. I forgot. This is gonna... This is... Oh. Take a little bit of uh, getting used to it. I think it should be fine. Yeah, so I've got a, I got a pokey face. When you progress through the game, you progress through the game by diving through whirlpools. Deeper waters have more difficult challenges. So this reminds me of some kind of weird mix between Evo Search for Eden, Nimbatus, and Spore. This is everything I wanted out of uh, the Spore cell phase, sort of. Now we can zoom out quite a bit, so I might as well zoom in. Uh, okay. Let's get some movement. Radial. Gives me dash. Pass. A little bit of drag. Squirter. Okay. Now, we don't have the ability to dash yet. We've collect, connected, uh, collected some DNA, so that'll be kind of interesting. I I really like this. It feels like reassembly. I've never actually heard of reassembly. There we go. Now, can I just pop open all the all the bits? Cool. Now, do I do contact damage? 
Okay, so he's quick. That's annoying. Now, ability dash. How do we dash? I don't know. Get rid of that. We've got some st more structure bits. I'm curious about the poison. We get two of those. Never mind. I could try poison for a little while. We need movement speed, though. Okay. Here, my unbelievable stank. It doesn't kill him nearly as quick as that other one does, but it does lock. Well, it does kill him eventually. Let's go. Let's go back to spikes. Now, can I get multiple? I can. See if I can move them a bit closer. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it looks like. It looks like I... So I have a dash now. And it looks like I just do basic damage by, like, being around things. Or bumping into them. We could potentially do, uh, like a crazy, uh... We could potentially do some kind of, like, really, really aggressive, like, spiker creature. Also, thank you, Solaire, for the... Was that 16-month resub? Did he... did he freeze? I have no idea. It looks like he froze. Now, it does look like one of these creatures has a bit of a... Why are you so fast? I guess I might just be slow. I'm not entirely sure. Have we learned any new parts yet? No, we're stuck with what I've got. Do have enough for one more spike. I'm just gonna keep rolling around as uh, spicy McGee. Let's see. I wanna. I wanna go kill that that other creature. Oh, hello. Wait, is that a? Oh, that's interesting. Some of the some of the grow points actually just swim around. Is like. Pseudo living creatures. It looks like also creatures stop spawning after a certain point. So you can't overgrind in an area and become ridiculous. Or maybe I'm just unlucky, I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Area clear. Oh, so that, that was it. So yeah, there is a limited amount of dudes that we can run into in this zone. Unfortunately, I'm kind of slow, so I guess let's just dive down. This might be a boss fight? It is a boss fight. That's concerning. Guardian of the Depths. I'm not ready for this. Well, I don't need, like, a... I don't need much of this. Oh, the... The combat... stuff has... Limited amounts, okay. Let's get rid of this. Let's get some structure up in here. Because this will get me some extra HP and... Let me jam some extra pain frontally. 
I'll just get more uh, structure. We want higher energy capacity and health. If I can manage it. Zero. Uh, that's no good. I don't even have this anymore. Okay, there we go. So that gets me some amount of poison and a lot of front frontward damage. Yeah, they go up and cost the more you add. Yep. Might have actually been a good idea to go with three spikes. But I figure I can mostly just play defensively here. Spit poison? Maybe I should do that. Can't really like jam any more poison onto this thing now that I'm thinking about it. But I, I figure if I poison him, he's not gonna want to get close. And then if I can take out those that pincer, ow. He becomes infinitely more durable. In fact, does he even have any weapons at this point? Or is he just vulnerable before me? He's just got bubble launchers, but that's Okay, no, he can he can hurt me. I'm not sure how he can hurt me. Or I was picking up HP there. There we go. Got him in close. I need grabbers. Yeah, so I'm I'm actually healing here. Oh, his parts are just popping off. Ain't going well for him. <laughs> okay, so we now have we now have the claw zooid. Now, do we have anything outside of this whirlpool? It doesn't seem like exploration is really... Nope. It's not worth anything. I hope we get some proper movement tech here. Try putting a bubble launcher and a poison launcher next to each other if I have them. Uh, it looks like I only have claws right now. Okay. So I can snip. Um Let's Let's go craft. Can I rotate that? It seems like the rotation on it is wrong. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Can't get any more of these. This isn't working really that well. Okay, so... M1. Should be fine. Me or you. I need that part. Okay. Do we lose grow points on that one? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't seem like, uh, okay. We'll use nutrition to regrow automatically. I'm going to get rid of those. Yeah, it does look like we've actually taken a little bit of damage. And we lost some value. It doesn't seem sp like spikes are as useful as I'd like them to be, unfortunately. Okay, well this should be fine. So I'm just going to swim around as a... As a durable little creature.
We're gonna need some more speed. Unfortunately, getting the speed parts sucks. I. It would be nice if... If I could actually unlock more. Okay. Thank you. Give me. Oh, I see. We're getting DNA for those parts. Is there any place that I can buy more? The answer does not look... ...promising. Okay, well, it's fine. It looks like we're getting my, my way back. Or my way back, my points back. Let's see. Now this is... Just healing nutrition. Turning in this game is interesting. It is much more, like, radial than I was expecting. But yeah, hopefully we get some basic upgrades that allow me to go faster, because, uh... I am a... jank nut. And I don't like it. Whoops. This is very awkward moving around like this. Consistent movement speed will make a massive difference. What's up with you? We need some more dash. Okay. It looks like it explodes into... Pustulating horror masses. Okay, so pretty close to my own uh, my own poison. Slightly different. Not that big of a deal. Okay, I think also just adding the extra j jets has improved our speed. Okay, don't want to go past those. Come on. Okay, we want to grab speed. So even though it's not immediately what we're looking for, or immediately, uh, even though it's supposed to have like a, a dash, it does actually grant me like a, a baseline level of speed as well. Ooh, hello. Speaking of speed, I think we just got a speed power up. Neat. Quickly just grab a bunch of these. It doesn't look like my HP is going down that much. If we spent too too long in this level. I proper level design I think would help this game a lot. I uh, I mentioned it did I mention? There's a game I played a long time ago called Evo Search for Eden. It's an old SNES game, I think. And I really liked it. You effectively did kind of this core gameplay loop of, like, swim around, find something to eat, uh, consume it... Consume it for... for parts. Uh, and you'd use to, like, evolve as you go along. And that game was tough. It was legitimately really hard. But I liked it a lot. Let's... Here. Instead. No, it looks like it can move using the left stick, but nothing else. Okay, I don't think I can get through there. Come on. I guess I gotta remember I've got a dash. Uh, but that game had legitimate, like, level design and stuff, and I thought... I, I've always been wanting to play more games kind of similar. Unfortunately, there aren't that many. Love that game. Once you got to land, it got real hard. Yeah, I've heard that. It was not an easy game, one way or another. Okay, area clear. It's gonna be a while before we get some of this DNA. Oh, the DNA means I can start with them. That's... that, that makes sense. But yeah, I, I would love to play something similar someday, but I have yet to see any, like, 
viable indie recreations. Now, do we have another boss fight, or are we just in a horror pretzel land? I wonder if this game's more of a roguelike, or if it has like a... Or if it has like an actual, like, end. It almost feels roguelike-y. You go until you die? Explain why they sent it to me. This game looks like it would be work real well on the Switch. Oh, those are shooters. That guy had ranged attacks. Oh. And he didn't die. There we go. I was wondering why he wasn't dead yet. Alright, we've got more around. Battle! Do none of them have any interest in actually fighting me? If not, I will gladly kill the lot of them. I'm gonna ignore that. I'll find him. Track him down. I want to grab all the... Oh, these are just health orbs. There we go. Beautiful, sweet, sweet DNA. Give me it all. Oh, we're maxed out on uh, growth points. Okay. Well, let's, let's get rid of these. I mean, it seems like speed is the, the name of the game as far as... Uh, me not sucking at it, so let's... Keep jamming speed in in on this horror. Okay, there we go. And we already have a bunch more grow points. I guess I'll just be uneven for a little while. We'll deal. I'll just be a uh I'll just be a bit of a, a prickly pear. And just avoid hunt. It'd be neat if there were like uh It'd be neat if there were like senses or something. You know you could you could like um see like blood in the water or like scent or echo location or whatever. Something to uh to give you like a a reason to hunt down enemies or like you know a means of finding enemies when things are hitting this end here. Cause I, I wanna, I wanna kill the last couple, but you know we've got all the whirlpools implying like, yeah, you should get out of here now. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I wanna, I wanna grind a little bit more. Or well, grind? Yeah, I, I wanna make sure I have everything, but there's, there's nothing, and all my enemies are, are missing. Unless it said I'm already done, and I just missed it. Nope. Are you done? Victim! Area cleared. That's the message I was looking for. Wasn't much, but I'll take it. I'm almost a hand, and we're in the Queen's Hive. Well, I kind of want to see the Queen first. Before I decide what to do. Let's see. I'm not sure what I want to do. Hmm. Took some damage, but we, we got in here. We're good. Oh, she's pushing me towards... Or like pustules. You can't, you won't succeed. I'm too strong for you. I am too strong for you. Okay, we gotta grab her. Give me that sweet health. I hurt. I want I want more speed though. I'm slow. 
pop in and wish you luck. Have fun. Hadn't been waking up for work at 5.30 a.m. Ouch! That is... <laughs> when I go to bed... I'm really bad at uh, having a consistent sleep schedule. Okay, Grabber. Has learned, learned to decide for the whole colony where it goes, the colony follows. Interesting. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay, time to redesign this entire sucker. Okay, we want the grabber. And we want that to be mouse 2. Okay. Oh, we were losing uh, evolution points like crazy for that. That's not a good feeling. Okay. Spikes. Spikes and jaws. Hmm. Okay. I think this is... I think that's right. We're gonna want some speed in here. Might not be a bad idea to get some claws, too. I guess I can get two of these for now. But with the, uh, with the grabber, this should be easier. Oh, that's interesting. They're colliding. Maybe I should get some scissors or something. Yeah, what I wanted to do is effectively encapsulate my prey and stab them to death. I guess I could go with, like, a goofy amount of grabbers. Do we know how much damage this does? Pierce mass grab. No. Because it'd almost be neat to have, like, just a bunch of grabbers as, like, a ranged attack. But that'd be hard to, uh, roll with. Okay, you. So I probably want to try and aim for the back of things. If I can. Or get some uh get some claws in here. We could try that. Okay, let's let's get rid of these. Okay. So that's more likely to hit. It's probably exactly what I'm looking for. Nibble nibble! Nibble nibble nibble! Nibble. Okay, so this kind of works. I'm a crab. I'm a crab with a grappling hook, and that's very scary. Prey does not escape as much. Though I'm not entirely sold on the... I'm not entirely sold on the whole... Spikes anymore thing. I'm not sure if I want them. Yeah, let's uh let's get let's get rid of these. 
Ideally, I'd like more grabber claws, but that's going to be tough. Never mind, not going to be tough. Uh, I'm going to move this a bit forward. So we're going to need a couple more evolutionary points for what I'm trying to do here. A little bit more, and we'll be okay. Nibble, nibble, nibble. I don't know where he's going. He's going places. Can I grab these? Oh, shoot. Give me. Oh. Right. Lost it all. Don't have any more capacity. Makes it harder. Let's just do linear instead of the, uh, instead of the other way I was doing it. So it does look like the grappling hooks actually do damage here. Okay, uh, let's get rid of these for a second. We need we need that second claw. More than anything else. Okay, so he's got like some kind of weird pulsating pokey lance. Which ain't great. Yeah, I lost a lot of growth points there. Yeah, be careful with unspent points. Yeah, I, I'm i kind of coming to grips with that. That I'm actually extremely limited on my max capacities. I'm pretty strong. Oh, right. I'm pretty strong regardless of how I'm doing this, but... Uh, it's tough on me regardless. Alright, we wanna just jam another one of these on. I gotta go fast. Grapple crab. Grapple crab. I wonder if there's like a grow point threshold that you have to be at to leave. Because I feel like I've been here fighting a lot more. Probably so you don't get screwed? Maybe? Who knows? Okay, let's become slightly more unwieldy. I just take off, it took off my most recent claw. Dang. That part kind of sucks. At least we heal pretty quick, but uh, I guess this is how you farm DNA, by, by being semi-risky here and losing stuff. Okay. Snippy, snippy. Let's grab it. And death. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, do we have enough? We've got grow points. I'd hardly say it's enough. Okay, no whirlpools have shown up yet. That means I'm kind of on the right track. And I like this build. It's actually working out real freaking well. Okay. What are you using? Come on, 
back out for a bit. So he's got... Oh, they're like destroyer tendrils. I want them. Took off my claws again, though. Compared to the other variety, you know, these guys are, are little chump creatures. Oh no, I still have I still have my third claw. I didn't lose it. But yeah, it's 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 these guys that are an actual concern. Okay, there goes. <sighs> Dang it. I'm trying really freaking hard to not lose that. That that third claw. Oh, but it does regrow over time. I gotta remember that. There it comes back. Okay. But it does cost me growth points. The other thing I could do is just get a bunch of grappling hooks and, like, mess with my enemies. Okay. Because I don't have to get into entanglements. I can just grab and snip. Because they baseline have the reaction of trying to escape from me. But maybe, maybe I need to kind of embrace that. Not entirely sure. Either way, we're hitting the limit of what I, I can do here, which is unfortunate, because I really wanted one more pair of claws. And I, I feel like I've been losing more than I've been gaining, or, or staying about the same. Maybe it's just one of those where, uh... Starting new runs unlocks new stuff. That'd be nice. I've got a lot of people that are confused thinking this is Spore. I'm sorry, this is Sypho. Uh, it's a... It's like a... Well, I mean, it's like the cell stage from Spore. But it's not listed on Twitch, so I just went with the uh, nearest comparable thing. Snippy, snippy. Snippy, snippy. You cannot escape me. Oh, he was starting to regrow there. That's no good. Alright. What else we got around here? I do not like this env environment at all. It absolutely is, is very nopish. Okay. Yeah, if I run into my enemies like this, then everything is good. Oh, are we... are we golden? Do I have enough for the final claw? Yeah! Alright, I now have the final claw. Snippy, snippy. I am the unstoppable craft. I will... will snip. I will snip until there's nothing left. I am dangerous. <laughs> Point me at an enemy. They'll die. They will die. I love it. 